So in this video I thought we'd have a quick look at this. This is the Berry Clip. It's a £5 um, little accessory for the Raspberry Pi. Um, it has six different um, LEDs. There are uh, two yellow, two red and two orange. And um, a buzzer along with a simple button. It clips on top of your Raspberry Pi like so onto the GPIO port. What's really good about this is that once it's connected on it sits on really securely. Um, one of the benefits of this is that if you haven't got breadboards and you're not interested in sort of playing with all the breadboarding and everything or you, you don't want to go get all the components you can buy one of these for £5 plus I think it's about £1.50 for delivery um, and it allows you to play with the GPIO um, pin headers in a safe environment where you don't really have to worry about knowing the electronics so you can just sort of start coding and making things happen so we're going to run through the examples that come from Matt's um, blog so to get your hands on one of these clips you need to head over to the Raspberry Pi Spy website and there's more details on there um, they're normally sold on eBay and there's a quick link to it but for more details always check out the actual um, blog that Matt runs and I say they're about £5 so here's the berry clip, you're going to have to solder it together um, but it doesn't take long, it's um, only a few components I'm going to be using the Adafruit's um, web IDE for programming um, there's a link to the video there that you can go on the um, Adafruit's YouTube channel and have a look at how to use their programming tool and um, so the first thing I'm going, to, I'm going to do is just create a new project folder I'm going to call it berry clip and um, and then I'm going to pull down a copy of the installation file. I'm going to use the wget command, which talks to the internet. I'm going to put that big long URL in there, which is um, I'm going to put in the description of the video. Pull down that um, that file. We're then going to run that file with um, sh space install sh, and that goes online and it pulls down the nine examples um, which are in Python. So each of these examples you're going to be able to go through, um, edit, make changes to. Um, use them just to kind of build your own code um, and so on. So uh, if we have a quick look at more on the instructions file um, we can see a description of what each of those um, example code does. So it's going to go through um, four of the um, example codes. Um, the first one we're going to look at, so we'll quickly just back out the project, go into the berry clip directory and we'll see it's now been populated. So we're going to fire up the first one which is going to turn on all of the LEDs in sequence. So we simply just load the code, hit run, and um, we'll go through and we'll see how that actually functions on the screen and then in the real world. So it says setting up LEDs, and in the real world, we just see it turns on from left to right each of those LEDs and then turns them off once we stop the code. Second example is we're going to have the buzzer um, bleep. So we're going to run the very clip underscore zero two code and um, that will beep twice and then it will just prompt to say um, you know your system should have beeped twice now so in the real world we'll just hear those beeps there we go and the third one is the last um, electronical part and that is the button um, input so simply just it reads in the fact that we've pressed a button um, and you can insert any code you want into there and again, um, just for consistency, in the real world, just simply press the button there on the bottom right hand side of the um, board. And just because it's my favourite one, I'm just going to go um, and skip on to six as well, which is the running LEDs. Um, and I think it's just like a Cylon. Um, and that just goes back and forth. And in the real world, here we go, just uh, we get this effect, which is I think is pretty cool. So if you like what I do here, feel free to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all of my latest videos.